Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know the deal by now. I'm Captain Last. I'm working at Tail Worlds, doing community and public relations stuff. I'm joined by my regular co-caster, E-Man. Uh, it's always an absolute pleasure to have E-Man on the stream. E-Man, how you doing? Hi there, Lust. I'm pretty stellar. I like how you tell it, like, y'all know what this is. You know what the deal is. Y'all been nice. here before. We've got some regular viewers. It's nice Twitch to... Page. Yeah, we want to see you back. As we've got a lot of um, visitors to the Twitch page. It's got, like, uh... 175,000 hits at the moment, that's not bad. Wonderful, and we Little thank hits. you guys for coming to watch. And as usual, yeah, that's, we that's have sweet. the best of the European warband scene coming right at you. Yeah, well, maybe not the best, but the goods of the European warband <laughs> scene. <laughs> um, we'll see what exactly what happens. Uh, Italy are currently sitting on, I think, one win and one loss. They, um, they lost to Czech Republic, which we streamed in the first week. I think we're live right now. Um, so run that intro and let's talk about this later. We're live? Do it. Oh my god, let's get up in here. And we are in the game! Beautiful nice. intro to get you right acclimated to things, and we are on Lovely intro. Over. I think the Phil Brother River intro is really nice. It's, you made it, and it's really poetic and, and soft and gentle. I know, man. It's poetry. That's what I try to make. Yeah. With my video edits. I think it's very nice. Um, anyway. Visual poems. Interesting uh, decisions we've got already going on here. We've got Poland not going anywhere near the Big Forest, and generally this map is paid by the Big Forest um, on the north side. But we've got Poland as the Blue Nords going kind of across the river or into the big field and now they're going to the big forest, they kind of change their minds. The other interesting thing they've done is they've only taken two cav, which is a particularly strange choice. Poland are all crossing the river, taking the canopy of trees. Yeah, they are going to the trees now, but there was a strange route. Normally you kind of just rush the trees as fast as you can, but they were sort of eyeballing it up. They were thinking of going to the ruins, but decided against it. Italy uh, are... Italy are... Crossing. They're taking the bottom ruins. Yeah, we've got Alguera and Arcantos over here trying to um, get a little bit of a flank on the on the Polish players, but the Poland have moved back across the river onto the field. They're kind of really shuffling around a Poland now. They're moving as a sort of scattered mob, uh, looking for some perhaps a bit of a push here. Going with the four infantry, you think that might be uh, what's on their minds? Um, really, I would have thought Poland would have been going for their cav here because they've got well, they do have really strong archers. I mean, uh, Virus is going to just uh, cut apart the Italian team, and that's what I'm thinking is going to happen. And Trebron is um, a consistent performance Cav. I'm really thinking that it's it's going to have a hard time here. Anyway, the flag is spawned for the first one, so enough speculation. Because we're going to see what, exactly what's going to happen right now. now for the actual action. Exactly, and Sebek is taking the first big hit here. He loses half his health to a, I think an arrow shot there. Perhaps by Aguero. Oh no, it was a jab. Rough wow, ride. Poland have pushed across the river, up yeah, they, the I tell you what they've done, Italy. brilliantly. They've got, they've got Italy into a tiny little ball right now, and uh, Poland have surrounded them. If they had a bit more cav, they could pretty punish it, but uh, Trevon's coming in anyway. Oh, Duke uh, can doesn't come get in. the cav's oh, runs off, Duke can go down first. Vicious gets it. taken right off his horse. Yeah, an early cav loss for Italy evening that scrub um, very early on. Uh, Sebek comes in and kills Rat, and yeah, I think Italy would just... They got cornered really badly right now. Aguero pulls a kill back with the headshot. Nice to kill Trevon as well. It's Poland only with the one cab remaining. Wow, this fight is still ongoing. Poland seem to have the upper hand. Elgara yeah. the pizza shooting with enemies right at his back. They it's don't seem to care too much. It's his solely falling apart now, and it's um Well they they cornered a rat and he wasn't able to bite. They pizza Rita. Aguero is the last player remaining on the Italian team. Very talented player, but not against seven <laughs> angry poles. Slumps down the hill all the same. <laughs> One thing to note here as well is uh, Trebron's tag. It's not Poland, it's Proland. He's a clever guy, is Trebron. Proland. Trebron representing his nation with much and they are, pride. They're Proland right now because uh, they won up against Italy and only took one loss. Um, we've seen this over the, the course of this week's streams that Nords have fared. They tended to fare better uh, than Saturdays have on this map, but. Um, at the same time, we've certainly seen rounds well on both sides, and it's not looking too convincing there. I think it, they were kind of a bit thrown by Poland's weirdness. I mean, Poland's um, still being weird. They're strange. They're just being weird, yeah. But what this kind of does, it gives them like it gives them good positions on all the flags, 
Uh, they don't end up, end up doing a Ukraine where they just sit in the, the big forest and have to run to the flags. So it's good in that good in that sense. Another pretty decent thing about it is that um, it kind of gives them an opportunity to, to push in. I mean, and actually, the fact it's just weird is good. Like weird is always good in this game. People have no idea how to react to it for the most part. Um, Italy doing something a bit different now. They're, they're taking the large forest uh, in Poland's absence. And I think that's quite a smart move. Uh, having the large and small forest is a pretty good way of controlling the map here. The only issue is that Poland could just kind of rush them from the riverbank. And I wonder if Poland practiced this or if they've come up against this before. Poland are doing the same maneuver of crossing across the river, but when they push, they don't seem to stop. No, no, they seem like they're going to park themselves right on the canopy. Yeah. Keep it safe. No, well, they're backing off now, though, and they've... Uh, it's a backed off and Poland have taken the, the large forest, so it's looking like a sort of fairly standard standard uh, kind of play right now. But uh, Poland just keep moving forward, they don't want to be yeah, passive at all here. Keep moving forward. They are this is why they've taken all those lot. infantry. Uh, I think against this many infantry, really what it's need to do is just kind of kite it and uh, keep shooting. But the, the problem for Italy is that uh, they've only got two archers. Um, really, they could kind of maybe best off Wait, uh, playing this like. Feet wet again? <laughs> No, yeah. oh wow, it's like they had a premonition. Yeah. Poland with the soothsay, and they knew the flag was coming that way, and they've already started moving. Well, it's also bit, on the move. It's good maneuvers. This is something we've mentioned in the other streams as well. Uh, teams need to start moving towards those flags before they actually um, spawn. Just even if even if like a, even if it's like ten meters of movement, it gets, saves you like extra seconds uh, running towards the flag. Italy there, Italy are there way before the um, Polish team though. It should be said. Got Arcantos and Alguero there, pretty much already. They're going to be raising the flag now. Arthasan and Trebron doing some light scouting. Still not ready to wait. No, Trebron's ready to go in. Well, the, the issue for Italy right now is they're quite split. They've got Rat, Margaretti, and Nirigar just crossing the river right now. Copper Diem and, and Sebeka harassing them. Pizza Eater um, doing some great covering fire. However, I think Trebron and the rest are now moving towards. Oh, they're trying to cut off the team. This is wonderful for. Poland. Oh no. Oh, that's, that's a rough even way better for Poland. Oh, and oh that's, a, that's it's a seriously bad death. two seconds for Aguero right now. The um, small coalition at the flag for Italy all died. But yeah, Chris, uh, where's it? Takes on Turin by there as well. Now it's up uh, to Rat and Nirigar to fight off all these Polish. Well, it's still it's still pretty even. It's five Italians against uh, seven Poles, but Carpe Diem takes the kill there, and you just feel like Poland have got this pretty much under control. Yes, um, look at that. They've neutered Dukin by getting his horse down. Yeah, oh it's, my it's, it's looking God. really nervous, and Poland just been able to intimidate them pretty much uh, already. Oh, and now the next. Now Dukin comes in far too late. Yeah, Poland absolutely mashing them up in the melee as well. Like, Darren is just don't really have an answer to big aggressive Nords. And this is the same thing that Christo does week in, week out for a IG. Um, just mashes through players, gets a, a sort of a, an axe. So I'm just reading the, uh, the chat. I think some people are having a, a few issues with the uh, the quality options seem to have disappeared. I, I gotta say I don't know what, what the issue with that is, but um, we'll have to ignore that for now. Uh, Chris, so week in week out, what he's doing is just uh, just cuts through players in big melee fights for IG and um, brings people up, inspires millions, and kills. <laughs> what is still the vicious? That's an angry undead person right there. <laughs> I don't know what is what is Chris the vicious? Is that like a thing? It's when he it's when they moved the rock from his tomb and they saw that he was in there and he was pretty pissed, man. Like, yo. Really? I've been in here for so long. What is it? I don't know what this is from. Like the Bible? The Bible. Oh, it's like Christ the Vicious. Huh. Yes. Well, it's cause, like I'm not Hispanic, so I don't associate with Christ with Christ. Cristo? <laughs> you need some salvation lost. I can't provide that. Only you can find that. In your <laughs> heart. I can fight. Pick up the good book right now. <laughs> Cristo by the power of Christo compels you. Jesus cannot be found like you find a, a set of missing keys. He can you gotta find Jesus though, in a more abstract Poland sense. Except what Christo viciously has to give them. <laughs> Poland's still doing it! Look at that! They, they love climbing yeah. hills, dude! Are they a mountainous country? Yeah. My little big uh, no, Wikipedia really. knowledge shows me they have beaches, mountains, and dunes. They got a little everything. They got, they, they got everything, yeah, but Poland is lap. It's pretty flat for the most part. Um. The thing that's been impressive about Poland's players is that they've just been able to cope having uh, only two cav the whole time. It's kind of a testament to Trevor's skill as well, even though he's uh, doing pretty terribly uh, score-wise. Italy are s afraid. They are they really afraid are. here. They are. But I mean, they, they should. They should. Fight. They should be backing off and and skirmishing, but they don't have enough uh, archers to do it really effectively. Uh, and they're not moving very effectively either. Yeah, look at those horses. This is some of the worst horse walking I've ever seen. 
they are heads to butts right now, those horses. Black Spot's now, actually, so, by the way. Oh my yeah. god! They could have been a space here, but um, they're just losing horses. horses, and Wessex's unchallenged down there. Turnbar goes in for the, the attack, but doesn't really get anything done at all. Italy, uh, with the, yeah. they, they move their horsemen onto foot and just keep on pushing. They're now pushing Poland down off the Ooh. hill. Forest slaps that Turnbar as he's on the ground. The back brings down Coco as well, and just, uh, it's not really doing much in the melee fights at all. Well, um, it's a slow process. Just, look a lot stronger than the Italians do, and they've got to try and get at least one round here, I think. Oh, um, Dukin. Dukin goes down. Oh, the poor guys. Italy tumbling down the hill. Oh my god, is this like... <laughs> this sums up the match so far. Poland going uphill, walking over yeah. the bodies of Italy that's falling down. And the <laughs> thing is, Italy are sitting on two kills. Uh, well, that's not counting the one which Aguero got and then got the team kill as well, but uh, they just... They've got to do something totally different now. Um, and I hope they do. But I'm concerned that they're just going to do the same thing. And it's the same classes for Italy again, and uh, you really feel like they're just falling apart right now. Um, Italy, they have to react. Just... They got to, they got to react. They can't just keep doing the same thing because they just they they've not even come close to winning around. Their cowardice has dug them into a trench they cannot get out of because now Poland have all this nice armor. So even if Italy does attack, they have to slice and slice and do their best to deal any damage to these guys with all that armor. Yeah, the real issue is just it's not. It's not matching up well, like you need to take um, uh, maybe extra cav to use your cav advantage or extra archers. I don't think that the three infantry there are doing anything good for Izzy at all. And in fact, you can see they've got no kills. Well, that's not exactly exclusive to the infantry. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a problem plaguing a lot of Italian yeah, players right it's, now. It's it's the zero kills that's their main problem. They need more kills than zero. Well, they just look at... Look like if you just see how their big old mass of men move, they don't seem very coordinated right now. They're, well, they're, they're mobbing too much. Uh, they don't have any kind of decent flanking going on. I don't on. see um, a clear goal. Yeah, you're right. Here. Whereas, uh, from, run away from the Polish when they come. <laughs> well, that's a goal, I suppose. It's like, it's... <laughs> it's a contingency plan. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, exactly, not exactly shooting for the stars. Just run yeah. away from the Polish. We'll shoot for the stars. They're shooting for the stars, but they're landing on the moon. Yeah. I was trying to, I was thinking like in my head, is the moon or the stars better or like further <laughs> away? Like <laughs> Which is the biggest object? Elephant, yeah, like what, what the moon what we... <laughs> a tootsie roll. Like which one is better than the stars? Well at least like the stars are like at least if you land on the moon you're not gonna die. That's like pretty good, I guess. But yeah. But it's obviously, okay, the, ob obviously the guys. The moon is a lot closer than the stars are. Like, the stars are... Yeah, stars are right away. in your eyes, Lust, and now Poland have an <laughs> advantage here. They are actually really close to the flag. The little canopy of trees are oh so close to it. Italy tripesing around right in the open. Yeah, they've got a great overview of the flag, the, the Poland, you're right. Um, Varus especially up on this hill here, and this guy's a killer shot. He's only oh, managed to get one kill so far. He's only managed to get one kill so far, but he's completely unscathed, doesn't die at all, and... Uh, Hey, Italy really are making nice their way over right there. That's a ragtag yeah, they group. They're going to focus on Boris first, I think. Um, Poland are raising the flag, but they're not really focusing on it too much. They're going to break off the flag right now and start moving into the melee fight. Chris the just, just wants to pack out his score, averaging uh, two kills around so far, which is pretty beastly. Oh, wait, Italy have come. Poland now taking, trying to get the upper hand. Oh, my God. Oh, Trevor comes and gets reared up pretty badly. They uh, do Obi Wan escape now. And uh, Italy have taken control of the flag. There's still no kills going down here. Italy actually looking pretty good in this round. Duke does use his horse Duke though. Uh, Triple's had to pick that kill up. Down. I think the cows are real weakness for Italy right now. I don't think they've just been able to compete at all. Uh, Crash has come in with the kill there. He's a like copper dim. Keeps Italy just about in the game. But those horses are just going down so fast. The Italian cavalry not able to keep them alive uh, at all there. Rat doing what he can in the melee fight. Brings down Harmon oh, there. Oh my god, I think he clearly jumped the horse by Turbrod. Rat trying it's to do still... some nice moves. Oh, and uh, Christo, wow, in his viciousness, sign. gets a team kill, and Wessex does creep ahead of him in the scores there, so uh, he'd unfortunately miss out on um, that score, which he really wants. Nice team kills? Why? <laughs> yeah, well, got to team kill Judas, because he was already team killing. <laughs> he's, he's a TK, or he deserves to get he banned. He started it. He deserves to get banned. Oh, I've got the wrong score up, so it will be a break. But uh, Italy are not winning, unfortunately for Italy. Italy did not do good. However, I'm going to attribute that to the Nord advantage. Maybe the Nords are just going to sweep away. Uh, I'm not going to attribute that to the Nord advantage. I'm going to attribute that to um, 
pretty a fairly poor approach from Italy and uh, um, very nice play from Poland, I think. There's been a few doubts around Poland and um, sort of what they've been capable of. Uh, are they are they the team that has uh, seen them finish very highly in previous years and even win uh, certain Nations Cups? I think they've won one Nations Cup. Um, as far as I don't know. I should know that better. Um, in any case, any case uh, yes. Poland, are, Poland are really uh, silencing the critics right now because they're just looking like a, a really solid team. They they're able to work together very well and, and individually looking and indivi individually looking super as well. This could be one of the favourites to take the, the whole thing. I think about Poland is in the Polish community. Uh, they they sort of have a forums separate to the Tales forums where they talk a lot of the time. With the four ways. Oh, they have in their own elitist Polish The four club. ways to Werner. Yeah, pretty much. But that is basically just it's just been full of arguments and shitstorms. Uh, yeah, you get a bit. You have to speak Polish, otherwise it's not really uh. much point going there because they speak in Polish. But uh, the thing about it is they all these players at one point or another, I'm pretty sure, would have. Told each, told every single one of the other ones to go do themselves in or something like that. They've all had arguments, and they've all had you know, their ups and downs. That, that so must they, be how they, they all, get all that aggression in game because they're all the thing, up they, and angry. They, at each they, other. All, they all know each other very well. Is the point? Um, and it's been a sort of a, a good four years, five years that they've uh, been a community. Um, it's, it's similar for Italy as well, obviously, but uh, I feel like Poland have a very strong unity. Uh, so I think that's. Been working their favorite least. Polis stands united. Yeah. And right now teams are switching factions. There was a, a little pause for someone to go to the bathroom or something. Yeah, and guys, you can mention, uh, you can you can tweet us um, in a captain us. But Dan's sitting there tweeting about the quality options. I know we want to get them sorted out. I've, I've messaged Twitch, but it's get a response yet. Hopefully they'll they'll be able to resolve it. Our Good for your change. dodgy Greek it's internet. Us. Yeah, it's Twitch. Twitch is twitchy. Shout out to Foams who is administering this match for right now. Yeah, I think we're I think we're live as well. And we are returning to the fold. Let's get stuck in. Um, Can but they're not spawning in. Back? They are you taking know, three cav now. Uh, three cav now is on the Sarah's team. Three archers and two infantry, which is what I think I prefer to the three infantry that Italy were rolling. Italy now doing uh, same thing on. Uh, Nords taking uh, three archers, uh, two archers, sorry, three inf and three cav. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out, I guess. But I just feel like uh, it's haven't been particularly strong on horseback at all. Uh, they might even just be better off pay, like trying to copy what um, Poland do. But, you know, it all comes down to how the players play in the end. I think and, Poland uh, added a player here in Blade. Blade. I think Blade, Blade went in and Sebex gone out. I don't know the particular reason for that. I think it's perhaps just uh, changing classes. Um, they wanted another, uh, well, another well, archer. Vi for control of. Oh wait, what is this? Carpe Diem trying to seize the ruins. Yeah, a bit of a fight going on over the ruins right now. Hold up in there. El Guerra, another A player and a uh, pretty pretty big veteran of the scene as well. The guys that really talented. Archer. Doing his best to shoot from here. He has Arcantos to protect him in case anyone tries to kill him, so he's good. He's a real headshotter. A real headshotter. Well, some archers, uh, we just kind of try to get as many hits as they can. Some have and, so some, and archers some archers. To shoot feet yeah, some archers just some archers just play shoot with the head the whole time, and Aguero is one of them, and he, it's very successful as well, very effective for him. I think there's a bit of a standoff going on in the field as well right now. Uh, I think some of the Cav eyeballing each other and uh, it's looking pretty outnumbered here. I'm not sure how good this fight would be for them. They are retreating to the canopy of trees. Flag has spawned right up here by the big engagement. Oh lord, what just Ooh, happened? Oh, Vesco goes to Nirigar. So, uh, that's a beautiful javelin oh! actually takes down her Trebron of his horse and he's actually taking a hit in the meantime because he's so distracted by how awesome that was. Uh, Blade does even up, uh, though, and takes down Aguera, which is um, pretty bad news for them. Arcantos is going to be there in the meantime, though, and stop Blade from firing, at least. Yes, he's going right behind that hill. Blade is now retreating, meeting with the rest of his Polish crew. Yeah, group. but Blade's, Blade's got support in Wessick, and Arcantos has to back off. Arcantos Carpe Diem, as well. the only cab helping the main engagement. Now Harman and Cristo, they're a little bit outnumbered. 
Yeah, well, both teams got yes, lacking in important places. Italy converging on the few exposed men. Carpe Diem and Arthasen realizing that they did their still. allies. Oh, and Carpe Diem goes down to a wonderful lance from Crash. Harmon on the floor as well goes down to Turinbar. Beautiful play. Arthasan is uh, low on health too. He's doing the Italy. best he can, but oh my god, Ooh, it's not enough. Lovely shot from Margaretti. And uh, Italy showing that perhaps it is the um, faction advantage that is a significant factor here because Vara is going down too to a couch from Jukun. Uh, only Blade and Wesic remaining. They're both archers. They're not going to be able to take uh, all these it Italian players down. But can no, they take down the horses? Can they, they do? Will. Can they do damage in the meantime? Can they take any of them down? It's Little, too late. Uh, it's too late. <laughs> I'm not just sure if Poland right should have sacrificed that middle engagement to come help Blade because he seemed to be doing all right on his own. Then again, he wasn't arching. So. Yeah, you'd get your archers fired. And uh, Wesic's going to go down pretty soon here. Looking like what could be an Italy team kill. It's very so close. Bro, it could Ooh, be anyone else. They're all spinning around. The Wedge is spinning around like crazy, yeah. Uh, there they go. Eventually, Nurgar just sort of buffs him, niffs him down, kind of whiffs his off his. Crash gambas tramples on. the corpse, steals the shield. Yeah, it was all padded gambas on. <laughs> good job, and, uh, Italy, getting a round back. Yeah, it's important, and it's good for their confidence at least to just get that first round on the board. Round to always. get us a good match. Always very important. Um. They're not going to be able to gear up too much. We've got a couple of archers taking some uh, armor here. Nirogar's got himself some mail. But nothing uh, out of this world. Quite oh, we're in uh, Arkansas. Stage, right? This is the group stage, yeah. I can tell you a little bit about the status of the group as well. It's uh, quite an interesting one. Um, also in this group, we have Czech Republic, uh, United States of America, and the Baltic. Baltic are sort of the nominal team that aren't really going to do anything. Uh, unfortunately, that's just that's just a fact. Um, but they're sort of the free win, the whipping boy for everyone. The wild card team. Uh, Checker probably got their, their free whip loss in this week. This is actually a delayed match that should have been played by yesterday, but uh, they were quite an extension to play today. Um, but that means the Czech Republic are now on three wins in three games. They beat Italy, US, and Baltic. So Czech Republic are through, pretty much. Poland have only played the Baltic so far, and they won easily. But um, their matches against Italy, uh, in particular, and um, Czech Republic are going to be very important, and the United States too. So it's uh, it's kind of all to play for 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 the promotion spots. If Poland keep winning, they could take first place as well if they beat the Czech Republic. And first place is really important as well because you want to go in with that seeding advantage in the in the knockout stage. You don't want to go through second and then be like up against well. Like a first place team. Yep. And but it is an interesting situation in the group. Uh, USA actually not looking as good as they were um, in previous years. They've already lost to Czech Republic and it's look like they're gonna have a hard time getting through actually. Good old Italy, USA. Italy really need this um, to stay in the running, I think. Italy. A lot more a lot more pressure on them. More pressure on them and they have the flag, so this is yeah. It's up to them now to hold it's been, it. It's been a pretty passive round so far. There was a bit of squaring off and a bit of basing, but uh, only Aguero's just lost a tiny little sliver of health. Now Rest let's see okay. how Poland pushed for this flag, because Italy kind of own it the same way that uh, Poland used to, coming from the canopy side. But now... Oh, wait. Poland is just doing... Oh, my God. Italy's going into the canopies again. They're retaking it. Oh, they oh, see we, Poland's weak. You've got Carpa Dem coming in the back with a with horse as well. Poland but, retreating uh, intelligently. Not really for him to Ooh, kill. Oh, rat too far forward. Rat too far forward. He didn't get the message to yeah, retreat. Goes no, down. One, no one patted him on the back to tell him we got to go. <laughs> Just an angry, aggressive that. rat. And oh, Jukun there. Uh, very isolated from his teammates there. He could be going down here. Loses his horse on the floor and goes down uh, quickly to a launch from Carpa Dem. Is he with an immediate disadvantage in this round? And that's pretty gutting for them. A brilliant headshot from uh, Baro 6 on Taramba for some of action. And just the one horseman left for Italy right now. It's five players against a, s a full eight of Poland. Arkansas desperate to kill the oh down Carpe Diem. Crash down, uh, somewhere. Himself. Yeah, Crash has been playing pretty nice as the um, probably the, the strongest cap for Italy at the moment. But he's going to lose his horse there. And we'll go down pretty soon. No guy goes down there as well. Any Anything that Italy can get at this point is going to be a bonus because uh, they've lost this round. Aguera, um Fools and Margaret's going to be there. They did... Italy did not hold this flag very well. No, they As sort of looked a bit too panicky, and Poland just kind of sat there and shot at them, messed them up, and as they continued, uh, 
wasn't really much that Italy could do. That's a wonderful way to describe what occurred to Italy. They panicked because they charged the trees, which was, I think, an all right move because it seemed that they got at the archers of uh, yeah. Poland. But then Poland retreated. Italy didn't know what to do. They kind of falafel there. Yeah, they, they kind of back. retreated as well, yeah. So well, the thing is, it's it's sometimes easier to assault the flag because when you're assaulting the flag, you know exactly what you're doing. It's like, yeah, I've got to get here, we've got to get here, we've got to stop them raising, we've got to do this, we've got to do this. When you're defending the flag, it's like kind of confusing. You, have, you sort of have to play reactionary, um, which which makes it a bit harder in a lot of ways. Um, and a lot of teams aren't really uh, capable of doing it. Obviously, you do have advantages if you are defending the flag, and if you if you use them well, you can sort of lock out the enemy team. But Italy didn't really do that at all. They just kind of, uh, like I said, they panicked and squandered it. But, you know, maybe they can sort it out for the next um, next time. Italy are now trying to move alongside the castle. If the flag spawns way off in that distant ruin area, they are pretty screwed. Yeah, they are. They, I mean, I, probably not the kind of team that will go for a flag raise because they're, they're a very proud nation and they get very aggressive. They always want their kills. Um, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, bet on them to be running off and raising the flag like we saw Benny try and do the whole, most of the time. But uh, they really could get away with it if they did do it uh, very easily. Right, they didn't that flag. And Harman doing some you, could just, you could just put like one cav, or you could just send one player over there, just raise it and just slow down the rest of the team with your cav. You'd be fine. No, it's a really taking a big gamble by being up here. I don't know. I mean, they already showed that they didn't have a great time holding this flag anyway, so even if it does spawn up there, what are they expecting to do? Um, Aguero takes a hit there. In the early round uh, shootouts. Flag's gonna spawn pretty soon as well. Slowly encroaching on Italy. Map control. Poland has it in spades. Oh, I've... oh, did it? No, no. Okay, good. It spawned in the center. Italy can contest this one. Harman and Cristo laying claim to the flag. Virus gotta... already in a good position. Trebron on the side, ready to intercept. Italy are walking into a whole lot of stuff here. You have to carry it for me, man. I've got lots of issues. Keep going. Go ahead. All right. Poor, poor Lust is having technical issues. So, yeah, it's the E-Man show. <laughs> That's almost harvest I get season. to use the sound effects too, Lust don't let me. <laughs> anyway, Italy coming through. They are pushing now. It took them quite a while to get the courage to move on up here. One of Poland's Cav players are in the back just causing a ruckus and Italy are like slowly snail pacing, and sludging their way up here. First kill goes down. For Poland, they get down pizza. Another kill. Oh, Blade with an unfortunate shot into a teammate, but he's still doing good overall. Italy have finally claimed the flag, but not with many men. They got two cab, three cab go in there. Coco and Niragar trying to raise it. They actually tied the raise. The raise is now even, so Poland have to push back. A lot of crossfire coming now between Virus and Blade. And oh my gosh, Poland getting some beautiful jabs in, Niragar's buddy dies, Niragar soon to follow, CRASH! Jumping over five different men! But it's not enough of a distraction right now, three Ital Italian players trying to survive, all the archers for Poland have moved up, a few of them have gone into melee range. <laughs> oh, it ain't helping too much, they're getting a few team kills, but this is pretty much lost for Italy, a, a wonderful last hurrah here for Crash and Co. But... That is the might of the Polish. Fantastic work there from Poland. Uh, thanks for E-Man for taking over there. I had a few uh, little issues there, but I'm back in the game now. The same problems that plagued Italy plagued them in that round. Indecision, uh, hesitation to take the flag, allowing Poland to take the map and control where the fight would occur. Yeah, taking a 6-1 lead now as well. It's pretty significant. Oh, yes it is. Poland, they even, their archers have the chainmail. Their horsemen have multiple shields. It's looking bad. It's looking bad. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> bad has one syllable. Come on, what's bad? Bad. It's a special type. It's pretty, it's it's a terrible. It's terrible, basically. It's, it's... Wait, the meaning terrible. is terrible, or the, or the usage of Bayard is terrible? No, bad is just meaning that it's, it's gone from bad to worse. That's what it is right now. Gone from bad to Bayard. Yeah, when it goes from bad to Bayard. <laughs> we still got Italy now. They are, they are fighting 
an uphill fight right now. Poland have such nice arm. Yeah, well, I think AC might be perhaps a bit more comfortable on the closed maps. They seem really uh, uncoordinated on this uh, field by the river. They don't seem like they know where to put themselves at all. Um, you, I mean, they need to get some rounds here, though. <laughs> They've got they have one. They to so... do something. Come on, Italy. Y'all are getting booked. Straight up. You get in the boot. You got to get the boot out of the tournament if you play like this. <laughs> we got a nice little uh, tweet from uh, LaRue here saying he's got some bare remoticons and he's saying it's almost harvesting season. It is. It's almost harvesting season. Someone's been enjoying the sound effects. <laughs> I only have that one. It's a good I'll one, though. use it when you're not here. Fine. But, uh, yeah, and the little bears. Raise your bears. That's Do raise your bears, guys. The cutest emoticon I've seen in a while. <laughs> That's why I like it. Like, it's so nice and fat. It really makes just E-Man. You know, E-Man, he's a very kind of macho guy. He puts on this tough exterior. But when he sees a cute little emoticon, yeah, he turns into a little putty. <laughs> I'm very easily pleased. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I, I wish to be pleased by Italy's performance here. If they get it together, they're now... Pushing on the second canopy, the canopy that Poland used to own, but Poland Is vacated he... it. Italy ignoring the flag is just going to push forward into the post players, and I think Poland are a lot much a lot better at skirmishing this They've got Blade on the left, Forest on the right, and if Italy move forward, they're just going to cut to absolute pieces. They ha they cannot move into this crossfire, and they're still trying to do it. Uh, it's going to fail Ooh, miserably. Doing some Rat, is, work in Rat the is pushing forward with, with no support, me. and he's just going to die. Uh, I think. Uh, well, Nirigard does get a kill there, and are some of the horrible team kills. It could be a little lifeline for Italy there. I thought it was terrible. They actually managed to get the archery support um, down for Poland, and uh, they've they killed the crossfire. Oh, Italy correct. have successfully invaded Arthur Polish in. territory. Yeah, they have done. Uh, Arthur is coming in. Oh, they're doing Nirigard great work. Here. Arthur Sand getting scene. brilliant javelin from Rat there brings out Arthur Sand, and uh, well, Triple does get the kill by Conrad, and it's incredibly close. Um, Polish players making incredible individual efforts here at the moment, but they've sort of fallen apart here. Uh, Carpe Diem gets, gets a kill back on Arkantos, and they do still have uh, two co up to Oh, it's it. actually even! Yeah, but Italy still have uh, three three mounted horses. Nirigar's going to move on to the flag, start raising it. Poland, uh, Trimble comes in, and Carpe Diem, great work oh, from the two of them. Oh, wonderful job Nirigar. balancing the sides. Two Yeah, but coming they're really, in. Lacking, really lacking support. I think uh, Italy. I think now Pizza just with, uh, Eater and Wessex have been fighting this whole time down. in that background. Wessex is the victor. <laughs> Eventually, that's take him down. That's that's, that's going to be the killer for Italy. But they, they had a moment of almostness there. They almost did it. They almost uh, had a moment of Zen. But yeah, Turinbar. It I like almost the guys. came together for Italy, but if Turinbar, one of my apart, oldest friends in the warband scene, but um, in shambles. Not able to uh do much there. Like their economy. And that's going to put Poland in a seven-one lead. A very convincing start here. On foot by the river. And, um, oh, yeah, it's going to break, right? Okay. Yeah, that person's going to break. <laughs> Next up is going to be uh, Mountain Fortress. You know it's going to be Roadworks versus Swadia. Uh, I, I really wonder know if. What it is. I really wonder <laughs> if we have this in them. Uh, I just I, have I, this I, gangster I, image of you lost when you introduced the stream. <laughs> I am a gangster. I'm uh, the a real. The red headed uh, gangster from Turkey. Uh, I'm a real OG. <laughs> and, uh, Straight from the underground. Straight out of CPT, that's me. Yeah, you know him. Okay. Um. <laughs> but poor Italy. Poor Italy. Mamma poor, Mia. Poor Mamma Italy. Mia, as they say when they die from a you know a, a turtle attack. Poor Italian plumbers. Actually, I gotta say, I thought the uh, Mario games were very. Um, I don't know, draconian. Games? They were very the Mario games were very draconian in their uh, view on gender roles. The princess was fairly useless. Wait, we're talking about the Hunger Games? No, the the Mario games, the Super oh, Mario. Oh, I I heard something game. Ma Ma Mario, Mario, Mario. <laughs> oh Mario. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they were hella sexist, man. I mean, Mario started off saving saving a girl from a monkey, like. What was her name? Penelope, There's no right? That's sexist. That was the original what, was the, what, what about What about the monkey makes that sexist? No, the monkey makes it racist, but it's sexist that the woman couldn't what? save it. What? It doesn't. It makes it racist if you... That's your own racist projections. You're right. You're right. This is, this is a dodgy territory anyway. I apologize. Um, yeah, we don't... We're walking into it. murky 8-bit territory here. <laughs> Although, I really like that old game where you climbed up and tried to get her. I love that little arcade game. 
I don't know what that is, but I, I'm sure it's like... Donkey Kong. No, no, didn't really play Donkey Kong. Never play oh my God. I played it, but like not much. I just thought it was like a rubbish platformer. I'm an idiot, I guess. I mean, yeah, it was just a quarter muncher, but nonetheless. Okay. Um. Either way, whether I've played it or not doesn't matter anymore because uh, right now what we're doing, we're talking about some warband, and it's uh, it's looking like Poland. Looking like Poland just running this right now. Seven one. Have we ever seen that comeback? The answer is yeah. Are we going to see it now? The answer is probably no. <laughs> Have a. But I know, I know for a fact that Alguero loves his uh, crossbows, and I know that it's going to feel a lot more comfortable on on this closed map than they will on the open map because open maps are hard and Poland are really good at them. Then again, though, I mean, with sort of infantry town like Cristo. Uh, they're just basically going to mess them up and harm it in there as well. I'm concerned that Italy, even with their their wonderful um, player in Rat, I'm concerned that they're just not going to be able to match up Poland at all here. Well, uh, I hope it's something I was concerned about before the stream, and I thought it could be interesting. I mean, certainly in terms of scores, it, it should be like this is Italy. I mean, they should be playing very well. Game. Yeah, not in the best game, but I mean, Poland are just natural warbanders. I always say this. I always want to say this. I think Poland are just, they have something about them. I don't know, it's their culture. If they it's were the. Born with something in their fingers. I just think Polish people are just really good at this game. I don't know what it is. They all just seem to have really good game sense, great aim, uh, great technical skills and stuff. I just Polish think... are gifted at video games. Yeah, maybe it's all video games. It could be all video games, I'm not sure. But certainly, I think it applies at Warband. Well, then, when you think about it, right? I mean, when the Asians got kind of all the RTSs and the uh, MOBAs, like. They own the competitive scene on that. Yeah. But I would discuss with a friend and he was mentioned it, the one thing they FPS? can't do good is if FPS. Yeah. Well, I don't. That sounds. That's pretty racist already. Like they can't do it. They just racially right, well, cannot. The they the racially game, cannot play the game FPS. Competitive scene. They're not dominant in basically. Yeah. Is what I was You're right. Who is? Is it Sweden? Well, I'm not sure, but likewise, maybe the Polish. Their secret scene is the warband scene. Let me tell you, if they have a scene, it's Warband is definitely up there because I think that they are um, fantastic Warband players. I don't know what it is though. You heard it here. When Battle Lords released, release party in Poland. Uh, probably not. We might have one in Turkey. <laughs> I think we might have a party in Istanbul. I'm not those sure. Those are Tail World's peoples. We'll see what happens. Not planned yet. We haven't even planned our party. It shows, how, shows where we are with the development. Oh, you could always get streamers at the dollar store. <laughs> No, 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 we'll you need throw. streamers, we'll, a little we'll, blower, a little party blower. And nonetheless, party. are we ready for the, the comeback of Italy? I think we're live, are the we? Italian mate! Run the intro, dude. We're going with the intro. Bam! Wonderful intro. Now we are on the map. Just displayed. Thick and lovely, and uh, yeah, pretty passive uh, starts the round here. Opponent in no rush. They're happy with their score. Interesting, we've got Italy taking three Cav here, and Cav has been their kind of not good thing throughout the whole of this game. Like, why are they taking so many Cav on a map where Cav is so useless? Yeah, Hung around I just neck, think. Dragging them down. I mean, they've got Nirigar, who's been doing pretty good work as an archer, is going Cav now as well. I guess they got some logic behind it. They got four tests coming in as an archer as well. Staring um, contest occurring at the choke point. And only two infantry. They've only got two infantry on Mountain Fortress. Can this be right? Italy I, with the new uh, novel approaches. I, They're pushing with their two infantry. The cav are coming out. Italy are I trying wonder, something here. Unorthodox I wonder setup. How well is it going to work when. Will it work? It might. It's a big pieces. old smorgasbord of men. Uh, Nerego goes down very Italy early. Italy first to go. Like against Prince. Uh, it's fighting the main fight panoramic, though, brings up Fortesca, and it's very close here. They do have Rat uh, with lots of health. Rat leaving. Sort of messing oh, up he's jumping right oh, over. Bad team kills from Poland right now. Poland getting all the kills, whether they're on the team or, or the other team. Rat made it a wonderful Crash team kill. Crash takes down Treadbron, and it's a three on three. Three it's on three! could manage this with, with their bizarre two infantry tactic. Rat is staying alive with a lot of health. But all oh, because he's Lord, he's a, stayed. Oh, no! Just some hard pushing from Artisan and uh, Harmon. Great teamwork from the two of them there. 
And just Aguero, that's a long way away from his team, does get the kill in his duel against Wesik. He ran. But with the mountains to climb now against Arthazan and Harmon, it's going to be really hard for him. Harmon's going to start raising the flag now as well, just putting the extra pressure on. No, he's going to break off and go for the kill. Plenty of time left. Aguero does get the reload in. It's up to Pizza Eater to get here. a shot off and then get a kill. He's, he's retreating. Wait, Pizza Eater, look behind you! Oh, so, that's bad awareness. That's oh, really bad awareness. God, Pizza Eater. Uh, there's no excuse for that. I don't know. I. I can't believe he died like that, to be honest. <laughs> so he just get, Lost he just can't believe him. it. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he didn't have much health left, and it would have been like almost impossible to clutch against players of that quality, but just die for not paying attention. That yeah. was a surprising Fortes round chat, altogether, fine. from Italy's unorthodox clan set up to their Why surprising not... upper hand. Like when you train your eye, you just like flick the tab button, and like you can just see how many players are alive in the enemy team, because they're not the ones that aren't ready. You just see like the two white names, like bam, you're there, you see it. Yeah, um, Pizza Eater was completely too focused. Yeah, he's been a little bit too far away from his team. Eyes a couple, a couple on the sauce, here. missing, yeah. missing everything. Going a little bit too rogue, I think. Uh, the thing about rogue, I don't know, it, it's kind of, it can be useful and it's like important to flank around and put pressure on your teammates, give them the extra things to think about, put the pressure on them. Most overpowered uh, X-Men. What, sorry? But oh, uh, Rogue. Italy are now doing the choke point again. Oh my oh, god. Duke can Duke be bold. Kill. He's got a freaking mace. He's got a morning star. That man well, can't be identified. Well, that, the thing is that that mace is absolutely brutal on horseback because you can crush through uh He crushed that swing. man's skull pretty easily. Duke is still yeah, looking for the next target. He's a bit injured though from that. Niragar yeah, nice. going way too deep. And is he with his, the more, more pushing, constant pushing it? Oh, and Duke has got himself in a terrible position there. He just runs in that ruin really stupidly. Uh, drops down very quickly to Harmon there. Oh Harmon just racking up the kills right now. Four kills oh, already in these two rounds. And uh, Poland getting more and more kills right now. Crash goes down. P3 took us one uh, kill against Coco. Wesley, but Coco doing his best to stop Trevron. Coco getting jumped yeah. by Sebek. Peter just... Uh, Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's hard, it's hard to watch, but... Not enough for I mean, this has hardly been a game now. Uh, El Guerrero oh, gets, gets a kill back, but... It's uh, a game for Prolet, and now let's see a Pizza Eater's awareness. He's well aware of all five enemies. <laughs> he knows exactly what's happening right now, uh, all too well. Uh, he's being completely rough and ready. Oh, yeah. And uh, the poor guy. <laughs> dies, dies with his crossbow on his back. I don't know, that sounds like a symbolic thing, like when you know, like the statues have the horse with the one leg raised, it like means something. <laughs> El Guerrero dies on the ground with his crossbow on his back. That means it was pretty means screwed. It... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. So. And well, that's going to be it for us anyway. That's gonna... we, we'll we're to not going to finish the steamrolling, or is it too painful? It's, it's too painful, and uh, <laughs> it's actually not that interesting. That's the main issue. Um, Poland are... Looking really hot. Italy looking like they're going to be out of the tournament. It's a shame because this has been probably the strongest Italy team we've seen for a while. And they had a really hard time against the Czech Republic. We streamed that match and they just lost out in the tiebreaker. Perhaps if they'd have won that, they would have been on and they could have maybe uh, scraped a second place here with a win against the US. But I think that their group life is looking Pretty dead. Rough. It's looking dead because there's no way they're going to be able to get ahead of the Czech Republic right now. <laughs> and Poland are looking. <laughs> Poland looking just Poland looking just looking too good, like way too good. Uh, and that's Poland lose to the USA. They and Poland, and, and let me let me say this: Poland are not going to lose to the USA. They're not going to lose to Baltic, uh, and they're probably not even going to lose to the Czech Republic either. So I think um, I think that's that's uh, curtains for Italy. Poor guys. Oh my God, curtains, 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 and uh, well, that was short but sweet. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. We're not going to have an interview. Yeah, um, because what's to say? <laughs> there's plenty to say! There's plenty to say, I yeah. I think there's plenty to pick out. Wait, where's Pony on the scoreboard? I'm looking at this round. Pony not on the scoreboard. The name is empty. Oh, okay, whatever. Doesn't matter, does it? Sort of matters, but it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, uh, no, no, that, that happened at the end. I did something wrong okay. in the last round. That's cool, no worries. It's one round error. It's okay. I won't, uh, won't have to electrocute you. Um, in the meantime, I've got to bounce. I've got stuff to do. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and um, hey, that's just the way that the, the cookie crumb was in Warband sometimes. Sometimes, still teams just dominate teams other teams. For showing up, Italy gave it yeah. an effort. Poland did much better. And uh, we're gonna be back. I think actually, let me tell you this right now. I think we're gonna be back with uh, some horse and sword tomorrow. So do check that out. Uh, oh, horse and sword! I think we're on a horse and sword tomorrow, 18 GMT. That's the current plan. 
So do get there, and we'll have some nice special guests there. We'll talk about Battle of the Nations Cup and all sorts that's going on in the Warband scene. So do um, come for that, and we'll try and get some streams up for the next week as well. And I hope someone streams UK, because I want to be on a stream all for once, playing the game. That's going to be fun for me. <laughs> I'd love to commentate you know? over Lost's actions. Yeah, you can commentate. Maybe we can do an MVTV stream, and you can, like, get on. Yes, we'll get um, some guest people. <laughs> we can get a guest. It's going to be a... Uh, I don't even know who we're playing yet. I should check that out. That's important. It'll be a good match if Lust is there. He'll teach. He'll teach him how to war, man. Yeah. These I, kids I, don't know how to do it. I, I I played one set of a training match before this, and I got 0 and 3. So pretty good, Captain Lust, right now. Good stand. It's only scrims. Don't worry. It's Benny, right? It's Benny. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be up for us from us. It's just waffling from now on. So um, take care, guys. Remember to follow the channel if you haven't done already. And uh, yeah, have a good evening. It's almost harvesting season.